and also by Dr. Maxfield, one of the teachers at Chatham. I'm one of the teachers at Chatham Middle School, and I'm also here because I have some concerns about the um, proposal that we implement the year-round school calendar. Um, one of the key arguments that was given to us in favor of a year-round calendar is the idea that students will suffer less from something called the summer slide, which is the idea that students lose learning over the summer, that they forget things. But it's not clear that that's actually what's happening right now. I looked at the reading star test scores from 2021 and 2022 for all current students at Chatham Middle School. The STAR test, for those of you in the audience who might not be aware, is a test given once a month to students in order to monitor their reading and math progress over the course of the school year. I compared students' final test scores from April, May with their first test scores in the new school year in September for both of these years. So I ended up with scores for two summers worth. The result was that the average change in student Lexile scores was actually an increase of 23 points. I ran the data by subgroup for the sixth grade students as well breaking scores down by race, gender, EC, AIG status, and ML. On average, not a single subgroup went down over the two summers. The data suggests that our students are not experiencing a summer slide, and so converting our schools to a year-round calendar to address this issue doesn't make sense. In fact, the problem is not that our students are learning, losing, losing learning over the summer. The problem is that our students are never reaching proficiency to begin with. If we look at the third grade EOG scores of our current seventh graders, who were the last group to take the third grade EOG prior to COVID, over half of the students failed the reading EOG, and half of our students failed their math EOG. When I looked at the fourth and fifth grade reading scores, reading EOG data for my current students, about 75% of my students failed the reading EOGs for those years. The summer slide is not the issue. The issue is that you can't lose what you don't have. So, I urge the board to work with us teachers to find real solutions and not to push through a plan that won't fix the problems that we're actually seeing and will also be very disruptive for our students and their families in the community. Thank you.